Agriculture is not a static thing, it's a living thing. It needs uh, steadily to adapt to changes. It can be changes of the environment, changes in the production system, new pests arrive, new diseases arrive. And in order to have this plasticity in agriculture, you need genetic diversity. This is the National Canadian Gene Bank for Plant Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture. You could compare a gene bank to a library. A huge collection also of information. But what we have in our collection is germplasm, viable germplasm. Germplasm is a material from which you can regenerate a whole plant. The most common thing is seeds and most of the germplasm we preserve at the Canadian Gene Bank is in the form of seeds. We preserve uh, here about 115,000 accessions of germplasm. Accession is a technical term. It basically means an envelope with seeds that contains material or seeds that are distinct from seeds in an other envelope. For example, in oat we have 28,000 accessions of oats. That means 28,000 samples and each sample is supposedly different from another sample there. Farmers are in need of adapting to changes, finding new opportunities, economical opportunities, uh, new crops, new usages, and gene banks feed into that by allowing and enabling plant breeders to produce these cultivars or to introduce these new traits that are very important for the agricultural industry. One of the key elements of a breeding program and its success is really genetic diversity. The gene banks really play an, a crucial role. At some point, Camelina was really an almost forgotten crop. And if it was not for um, PGRC here in Canada and other gene banks worldwide, who collected all the different Camelina material and stored them, breeders like me would not have really any material to work with. We wouldn't have any access to genetic diversity. So the plant breeders can write to us and they request germplasm. They will receive a small envelope uh, of seeds or vegetative plant material so that they have diverse material to start with, to investigate or to utilize a requirement for distribution is that the purpose of the seeds is for uh, research or education. Within Canada, our weed sessions are the most uh, sought after. Internationally, our oat, barley, brassica, and flax are the most frequently requested. The diversity of crop plants is a man-made diversity. And if we don't preserve it, it will be lost more or less instantly. It's a cultural heritage uh, that has grown over 10,000 years. And this diversity and this cultural heritage goes physically through our hands in the gene bank. That's very fascinating. I like to think that we're making a contribution to global agriculture. And hopefully that makes food more accessible to people everywhere.